This crown of thorns held more meaning than they knew. On his head he bore the consequences of the first man's rebellion against the Creator. Once they sinned, Adam and Eve could no longer live in a perfect garden. God told Adam, It will produce thorns and thistles for you. Thorns are a symbol for sin. If not for Adam's sin, there would have been no thorns for the Roman soldiers, to twist into a crown and force onto Jesus' head. Crowned with thorns, a painful reminder of the consequences of the first Adam's sin, Jesus, the last Adam, took upon himself the curse. Just like Adam, every one of us has chosen to sin. We have each made thorns in our lives. But when Jesus went to the cross, God took all of our sins and placed them on Jesus. He wore our sins, our thorns, so that all who believe in him are freed from it for eternity. There will be no more death, no more pain, no more curse, no more thorns. Praise the Lord. Then after the whipping, in an act of pure sadistic torment, Roman soldiers placed an imitation crown on Christ's head and mockingly bowed down to him in reverence. These thorns were shoved between his scalp and skull so the thorns would protrude into the skin and the muscle area, as well as ripping and tearing at the skin. Severe bleeding would ensue along with great pain. But this was no ordinary crown. John 19 states, And Pilate took Jesus and had him whipped. The soldiers made a crown out of thorny branches and put it on his head. Then they put a purple robe on him and came to him and said, Long live the king of the Jews. And they went up and slapped him. The soldiers took part of a thorn bush and formed a cap that covered his entire head. There are two types of thorn plants growing around the Holy Land. One is called the Zaziphus spina Christi. This tree had thorns averaging one inch in length. It was improbable for anyone to form a wreath-like crown using these thorns without being injured. It would be more probable, therefore, that the crown of thorns was more like a helmet. In fact, it would have been easier to cut off a bush and use it as a helmet of thorns. Unlike the traditional crown, which often is depicted in artists' portrayals as an open ring, the actual crown of thorns probably covered his entire scalp. And the other type of thorn is called a candal. While both have long, flexible twigs that can be woven into crowns, the candal has the cruelest thorns of the two. The brutality of the soldiers has led most theologians to believe that the candal plant, with its spikes of one to one one half inches long, was the one used for Jesus' crown of torture. Either way both of these thorns were as hard as nails. When the Roman soldiers rammed down the crown of thorns on the head of Jesus, the thorns came into contact with the two major nerves that covered the entire head. This would have led Jesus to suffer trigeminal neuralgia, one of the worst pains that humans can suffer. Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Neil Martin. I'm a neurosurgeon here at UCLA, and I'm chief of the Department of Neurosurgery here. One of the disorders that I treat on a regular basis is trigeminal neuralgia. Now this, this is a form of facial pain, but not everyday ordinary facial pain. This is facial pain of such a severity that it's been called the suicide disease. And before we had treatments, good treatments for trigeminal neuralgia, uh, in rare cases patients would tr commit suicide to get away from this horrible pain. The physical effects of the crowning with thorns using a thorn plant like Zeziphus pallorus Christi as an example. With its sharp, closely spaced thorns would most likely cause trigeminal neuralgia. Tigdularu. Due to irritation of the ophthalmic branch of the trigeminal nerve, the fifth nerve, and branches of the greater occipital nerves, which supply sensory innervation to the front and back of the head region, respectively. This irritation of the trigeminal nerves of the scalp from the crown of thorns would have caused laminating pains all over the front and sides of his face. There would also be agonizing pain on the insides of his ears. It would have been the equivalent of having someone come up with a knife and stabbing a person all over the face. This is typically characterized by severe, lancinating, paroxysmal, Electric shock-like pains across the face lasting from seconds to minutes with intermittent refractory periods. Trigger zones are common in various areas of the face, 
which trigger episodes of shooting pains across the head region. If touched, the severe pain would be added to the depth of imminent traumatic shock now developing from the scourging. Someone suffering with trigeminal nerves wrote this. I experience a severe amount of pressure around my whole lower jaw. It feels as though someone is squeezing your cheeks and jaws together with a piercing pain going on at the same time. Also, every so often I experience sharp, electric shocks to the side of the face like someone stabbed me with a sharp needle or knife. The pain can extend up the side of the face where your temples are, and keeps going around to the top of my eyes and forehead like an excruciating, unbearable migraine in your entire face. There are times when the pain can get so severe, that you feel like your face is on fire, and there is nothing you can do about it. The Gospel accounts record that following his crowning, Jesus received continued blows to the head. These blows would have driven these thorns deeper into the highly vascularized scalp and forehead, penetrating both the frontalis and occipitalis muscles. Perforations of any of the numerous arterial or venous tributaries encircling the cranium, such as the frontal and parietal branch of the superficial temporal artery and vein, would have caused extensive bleeding. Additionally, branches of the superficial cutaneous nerves of the head, such as, for example, the greater occipital nerve and the orchia temporal nerve, would have been perforated, causing even more indescribable pain. <laughs> on the left is someone having a trigeminal attack, on the right scenes and pictures of Jesus. Just standing there. The scenes and pictures portrayed of Jesus does not even come close to what he experienced. For us. Try to breathe baby. Try to breathe, breathe slow baby. They're so excruciating it's driven some people to kill themselves rather than live with the pain.